singledom. Until recently, single ladies were the unchosen, frozen old maids. No man would hitch the bitch, ugly, ungainly, poor, without the husband and baby that they were meant to long for. A loneliness wasn't condoned and financial millstones were disowned. Now I want a match who can match me. It's not loneliness, but a refusal to settle for less. In my own partner employment agency, I'm still waiting to fill a specialist vacancy, yet limited by social norms that make us women conform. My mother's rules meant it was more fun not to be a singleton. I couldn't walk home alone, so sought out a chaperone, as mum thought I'd be less prone. It wasn't date to marry. I wasn't hurried to find the one. Some parents think sex leaves her undone, spoilt goods on the shelf by herself. I was taught better mental health. Alone doesn't need all my chances are blown. Even before Covid though I'd eat at the counter or do some cooking. I'd never make a peak restaurant booking. I might pop in early and read a book. I contract, counteract to atone. Don't try to own my own space when alone. Don't have the financial power of two and the power women who do get shamed for being career focused are still pressured to find a bloke. Damned if they do and damned if they don't. Men have more choices. Agency will happily go to a pub or gig alone, are welcomed by couples. Single ladies get excluded as gooseberries, precluded from being with coupled guys due to fears of their wandering eyes. Single women get hit on to get it on, as society's norm of getting on is getting with, not being alone. Yet COVID has made dating so damn hard. There's no longer a simple not you, but not you, not yet, as I might regret it. Each embrace is threatening, not heartening. So most singletons stay apart, unable to find their sweetheart, won't even think of being a tart, each one alone in their own socially distant heart.